It is Small Business Saturday in the opening day of the annual Christmas Festival, hope hosted by the St. Charles Historic Main Street. But some businesses feared a city ordinance would keep shoppers away. Michaela McGee with the story. This is the celebration that business owners rely on on Main Street to stay afloat, especially coming out of the pandemic. But they believe that these barriers are going to be blocking the shoppers they need this season. The question is, do we have a shopping and dining district or do we have a street party district? Business owners on Main Street were notified on November 2nd. The St. Charles Fire Chief approved a city ordinance to block off the strip from parking on weekends during the Christmas Traditions Festival for public safety reasons. But they say blocking vehicles also blocks sales. The shops that are on the street need access to the customers to survive. It's the, it's the busiest shopping season of the year. It's four or five weekends that make or break the businesses. Owner of Lowley Cakes, Laura Andert, says her sales are already down 79% compared to last year on Christmas Traditions opening day. And when customers found out about the parking situation, it was bad for business. We told them the street was closed and they would have to find a different way and we would meet them somewhere and every single one of them canceled because they didn't want to deal with trying to get through traffic just to get product from us. Robert Schutte owns First Capital Trading and says he will always welcome shoppers. But this historic district is just too small with limited parking and vehicle access to accommodate the crowd this time of the year brings. It's kind of grown beyond the limits of the street, unfortunately. Reporting in St. Charles, Michaela McGee, News 11.